Hi everyone, Alicia here from Stretch It App. And on today's episode of Stretch It Fundamentals, we cover the importance of square hips in splits. The reason why we want to achieve square hips in splits is that it ensures a safer and a more efficient position in that you're not over favoring the front leg and you're using your back hip flexor well. This will then lead to safer and more stable over splits. Also, if you wanted to add back bends to your splits, because if you're not truly on your back leg and you over favor your front leg, the minute you shift your weight, you place it more back, you start to then roll out of your split and then could possibly pull your hamstring. One way we can better train square splits is to make sure that we focus on our hip flexor, putting as much weight we can on the back leg so we don't rely so much on the front leg. Bring your hands on the pelvis and tuck your hip under. Make sure you're squeezing your glute forward and keeping the body high so we can put emphasis on the stretch here. When you start higher on your pelvis, you can then mimic that same extension the lower you go. Lots of times, if you go too low, then we lose the stretch in the hip and we put too much emphasis on the back. Maybe by starting higher, we can better keep our spine neutral, squeeze the back thigh down so we could train that extension, especially then when we start to add in the straight front leg. If you find that when you lower your pelvis and you start to arch, then bring blocks with you so you can lift the floor higher to your hands. And again, better situate your pelvis in a way that it doesn't start to tilt, but you keep it as neutral as possible. Even more so, try to get it into a posterior tilt, even with a lower hip position. Heel toeing your front thigh out and bringing the body forward inside your front leg. Another way we can address the back leg is to also stretch our quadriceps. While you keep your back hip extension, try to bend your back knee and bring your heel to butt. If it starts to move in, that means that we're losing that hip extension and we're losing that glute power. It's not so much about only stretching, you also wanna squeeze your back thigh down and put emphasis on trying to stay on top of your thigh versus the inside of it. If you wanna go lower, then you can place your elbows down on the blocks. Remember, try to visualize your foot pointing straight up, not letting it fall in, but staying right on the back thigh. When you begin straightening your front knee, keep that emphasis on the back hip by keeping your torso back. And again, this is where blocks come in handy because the moment you fall forward, the tendency is to open the back hip. That's where we lose strength and stability. If you're able to keep your body more back, you're therefore able to put more weight on the back thigh. If the front knee is uncomfortable, bend it instead so now you can focus on extending your back hip, trying to get that as low as you can. And once you've improved that, the more you can get onto your back leg, then you don't have to worry about opening the hip in order to go down. Put as much weight on the back thigh as you can, and as you lower, again, keep the body back. Remember that butt squeeze we did when we pulled our heel to butt? Maintain that. Once you actually touch down, that same exercise we did in our open hip position, you can now bring in here. See if when bending your back knee, you can keep your toes facing up. If it's starting to veer in, that means we have to bring the blocks back into your split, work with the higher pelvis, and squeeze the thigh down while keeping the toes up. If you're already low, another way to also gauge if you're square is to tuck your back toes under. See if you can completely lift your back knee off the floor while keeping your back thigh facing down. If your hips are all the way down, one more way to tell if you're square with bending your back knee and tucking your back toes under is if you can reach both arms up without leaning over to the side. In that way, you can place your weight on your back thigh, keep both sides of your torso even in a strong leg position. 
To improve flexibility, make sure you check out more classes on our Stretch It app. The link will be down below. If you like videos like these and want to see more, make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel.